Formula One takes a step into the unknown this weekend in Bahrain when it uses a short outer loop configuration that's unlike anything we've seen in Grand Prix racing for years. Having been cheekily nicknamed an almost oval by F1 chief Ross Braun when the idea of adding it to the schedule first appeared, nobody in the sport quite knows what to expect. But drivers, fans, teams and media are all looking forward to what could be a crazy weekend. Bahrain is no stranger to F1, having first held a Formula 1 race all the way back in 2004. Michael Schumacher won that first event for Ferrari. It's been an ever-present since, apart from in 2011 when the race was cancelled as the season opener because of political protests taking place in the country. The Bahrain GP has regularly been held on Sakir's 5.412-kilometre-long Grand Prix configuration. But back in 2010, though, when F1 hosted the season opener, it felt that it needed to use the longer endurance version of its layout because there were more cars on the grid, thanks to the arrival of Virgin, HRT and Lotus. However, that decision didn't prove to be too popular because the tight and twisty extra section effectively spread the field out as there was little chance of overtaking. A subsequent lack of excitement in that race meant that F1 reverted to the more regular Grand Prix layout from 2011 onwards. So how did the idea come about? F1 has had to think on the hoof this year thanks to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, with racing originally having been abandoned on the eve of the season opener in Australia. Thanks to new Covid protocols, F1 was able to get a run of races underway in July, but the only feasible option to host events was for a number of venues to hold repeat Grand Prix. That's why Austria held the Styrian Grand Prix as their second round, and the British Grand Prix was followed a week later by the 70th anniversary GP. Bahrain too is holding two events. Such double headers had promoted fears that F1 risked the second weekend just being a carbon copy of the first, which is why it's looked at ways to shake things up with these back-to-back -back events. Although plans for a reverse grid qualifying race at the Styrian Grand Prix were abandoned, for the second Silverstone event, Pirelli brought along a softer compound of tyre. For Bahrain, after evaluating what could be done to shake things up, the idea of running on the outer loop configuration came up as the best way of offering something special. What made the idea gather some traction was that the short track already had the safety sign-off from the FAA that it needed, having gained the Grade 1 licence that all venues need if they're to host F1 races. That license had been requested as part of Bahrain's push to become a hub for motorsport in the Middle East. It's the only venue on the F1 calendar that has an alternative layout that reaches such approval. So what's the lap like? The 11-turn layout is effectively a short tri-oval with an upper section of sweepers. At just 3.543 kilometres long, it'll be the second shortest modern F1 track after Monaco, and the race distance will be 87 laps to get across the 305km requirement laid out in F1's sporting regulations. The lap begins at the normal start-finish straight and takes in much of the opening section of the track. The track moves away from the normal Grand Prix circuit after the right-hander at Turn 4. There, it loops left into a quick series of turns before a slower left-right sequence. After this, drivers will get back on the power as quickly as possible for another long, flat-out blast where the track rejoins the GP circuit at Turn 13. Here, there'll be another long straight down to the final corner. So what will the event be like? The three long straights will certainly force teams to cut back on downforce levels as they'll not want to be sitting ducks on the long runs between corners. This could prompt some slipstreaming and DRS fun, and it could prove to be something totally unique to really make Bahrain's second race stand out. F1 anticipates cars will complete laps in less than 55 seconds in qualifying, and at around 60 seconds in the race, making it one of the shortest laps in the series history. Early simulations of the track almost point to it having a full throttle increase of 5% per lap, with the average qualifying speed compared to the regular track lifting up from 219 km per hour to 232 km per hour. The uniqueness of the Bahrain outer loop section means none of the current grid have raced on this circuit. However, some drivers have managed to get some build-up preparations done in their simulators and have been left quite wide-eyed at the experience. Williams driver George Russell said that the track bumps could be a factor and things could get very tricky with traffic, especially in qualifying when everyone's trying to find a clear section of track. He even went as far as predicting it would be a bonkers weekend.
McLaren driver Lando Norris has likened the track to the British Thruxton venue because of the lack of defined corners and the long, flat-out sections. So what sort of weekend are you expecting from the Bahrain Almost Oval? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you've subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.